Good morning, I hope you are well. I'm super excited to be bringing you this bottle. It is one of my favorites and very, very special. Not a lot of this wine is made, uh, but this is Paul Hobbs Beckstoffer La Piedras Vineyard, which is a Cabernet coming out of Napa Valley. Um, super small production and we are excited to show it to you. So we've talked about Paul Hobbs. He is, he is the Steve Jobs of winemaking. Um, he makes wine in Napa Valley and has done so for many years out of Opus and his own labels. He makes wine in Australia, pardon me, Argentina. Um, and he's always innovating. Let's walk in and I want you to notice this guy's opaque, right? Can't see through it, can't read through it, is a dark ruby purple with electric purple highlights around the rim. The legs are slow to form and slow to fall, which indicate a high level of alcohol. We'll confirm when we get there, but for now, stick your nose in the glass. Oof, and you should be getting lots of ripe red and black fruit. I've got raspberry jam, I've got blackberries, I've got blueberries, I've got red cherries, lots of those juicy round fruits. Underneath of that, let's smell for the earth. And there's a little bit of earth here. I would say like a, a baked, dry, dusty road, um, some sort of like a dusty earth, um, but not a lot there. Underneath of that though, um, we've got a lot of non-fruits, a little bit of like purple and red flowers, cigar box, humidor. Let's smell for that oak. And I've got all sorts of oak spices. So I've got vanilla bean, um, I've got cinnamon, I've got milk chocolate, I've got cocoa powder, um, kind of a lot of those more um, elegant oak spices. So let's confirm it all and take a sip. There's a reason this is expensive. Um, it's really well made. So lots of those juicy red fruits and some of the black fruits mixed in as well. I've got a lot of raspberry jam. I've got black and red cherry. Um, I've got blueberry, I've got strawberry. There's just a lot of juicy redness coming through. Underneath of that, we chatted about those non-fruits. So um, cigar box, purple and red flowers. For sure there are hints of both of those as well as that like dry, dusty road. Um, earth quality. Underneath of that, one more sip, really nice oak spices. So vanilla bean. I've also got cinnamon. I've got milk chocolate. I've got nutmeg and butterscotch, but they're all just very, very elegant. Um, this is a layered wine. So we've talked about fruit and non-fruit and earth and wood, and there's lots of things in each of those categories. So a lot of complexity here. Let's talk about that gush, right? How much is your mouth gushing? And I'm at a medium plus. I've got some gush, but I'm not overwhelming. Same on the alcohol. I definitely have warmth, but I'm not overwhelmed. And with the tannin as well. I would love to say that my, my tongue is covered in top cotton balls, but it's not. I have a dry sensation. So this is medium plus. Across the board, this is a medium plus bodied wine. So Cabernet, you can call it full bodied. It's gonna pair really well with the steak, but this is an elegant expression. So I would say that um, steak is gonna be the, the greatest pairing for this, but we're gonna wanna choose more elegant cuts. All right, so let's chat about a three, two, one. I think we have to call this velvet because it is velvet in your mouth. Um, we have to call this raspberry jam. And I think that we should call this elegant because all of the fruit characteristics and oak and wood characteristics um, have a really great elegance to them. Um, it's gonna pair really well with steak, but I think it's gonna pair with those more elegant cuts. So think dry aged um, or think wagyu or think filet. Um, I think these with the, this wine with those pairings is gonna be phenomenal. Uh, and last but not least, Paul Hobbs. Steve Jobs of wine. Can't really argue with that. I love your faces. Have a good day.